Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going out on a two night, three day trip. Way up onto the tops. There's a big storm coming and we have a pretty grueling climb ahead of us. Victoria's here. Hey guys. <laughs> and yeah, my pack's loaded up 21 kilos, which is about 45 pounds. Victoria's is how much? About 40, 41 pound. Yeah, so we have heaps. It so heavy. Oh <laughs> we, we have heaps of gear, heaps of food, heaps of treats. We've got to make it all the way up this mountain and then to the campsite. But should be a good walk, and there should be no rain today. But tomorrow the storm's coming. But we'll be all set up for that. But what we've got to do is get up through these trees. Hell. Get up the big mountain, then we'll come back to you when we're back up on the tops and we'll show you a bit of the scenery. We've made it up onto the tops. That walk was pretty hard. As you can see, our packs are very loaded up, especially Victoria's. Looks ginormous on her body. How was that, Victoria? Hard and heavy. We're making good progress and we'll stop off at the lake, I think, and have a big drink, possibly have a coffee, but then we'll head on through the deep tussocks and make it across to the perfect little campsite. Victoria is um, struggling with a huge pack. I snuck a pumpkin in, which we're gonna cook up on the second night. So there's a full pumpkin, which weighs 850 grams in Victoria's pack. So that's weighing it down quite a bit. <laughs> but we still got probably about an hour to go. So we better crack on. The clouds are looking pretty dark. And apart from that, good walk and it's Real nice up here at the moment. We're almost at location. It's quite a grunt coming through all of these scrubby tussocks, but almost there. Victoria's doing well. You can see behind me, the clouds are coming in and maybe the rain will come sooner than expected. <laughs> but yeah, not far now. Then we'll set up base, come back to you then. We've made it into camp. There's not much water in the latans, which is a bit of a surprise, but still an awesome spot. What do you think, Victoria? <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it's real nice. So what we're gonna do is find the ultimate spot now to get the uh, tarp and tent set up and then get onto all our chores, but it's clagging in pretty fast. It should be all right though, because we've got the full, we have like a full winter setup. We've got the big Agnes tent, we've got our, our winter sleeping bags which will join together be real comfortable and our luxury pillows in our chairs like so, one big bit. yeah so we'll get all that stuff unpacked and then we'll get on to the rest of the chores but we'll be here this one could like go high up here What I need is a stick, so I can keep this side elevated up here. Out like that. That's good. Nice. Two bags of chips. Pumpkin. <laughs> the pumpkin. Burger buns. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. Pancake mix, tin foil, lots more treats in here. So we're here for two days, so I thought we'd go all out. So we've absolutely lost the plot with the amount of gear. <laughs> got the GSI fry pan, our luxury Nemo oh, fellow pillows. Whaps. I'm gonna get all my stuff out and sorted, <laughs> and then we'll we'll come back once we've got base fully established. But that was a pretty good setup. Um, pretty happy with the, the configuration, and unless the wind doesn't pick up, crazy which it's forecast for gale force winds but we'll see what happens worst case the tarp rips cheese burger buns brisket burgers we've got six eggs steaks and bacon yes i'm just joining our sleeping bags together so that it makes one one nice big bed. 
nice and cozy. It's getting pretty cold and we're going to go all out on this camp so we brought both our winter bags and the real comfortable Nemo pillows which we can connect the bags together and make one big giant bed so it should be a pretty luxurious sleep up here and we got the Cedar Summit Ethylite XT sleeping pads which are always pretty comfy but camp's pretty much established now and I think it's time to have a bit of, bit of food some liquids because pretty hungry pretty pretty big mission getting in here so I still have to be conscious that you know body takes a beating so we've just made some delicious soups it's like a cheesy chicken leek mushroom soup or something see what it is I don't know it's quite nice I haven't tasted it yet but Base fully established, we've got the mist coming in, but what we've got to do now is have the soup, get some salt back into us, and then we're going to do a scavenge for firewood and get a little fire going so we can cook our burgers tonight. we got the jalapeno brisket cheddar burgers from Raywood Fresh again. I'm going to have those with a brioche bun and some mel melted cheddar over the top. I'm behaving a little bit. I bought my gluten-free <laughs> gluten <-free> buns. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have these, relax, and then we're going to get onto a big firewood gathering mission, and then we'll get the fire lit and chill out for a bit. So, yeah. Scarfers are so good at smashing wood. Oh. Scarfa. You go. Having a boot that weighs like 900 grams or whatever has its benefits. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna eviscerate this wood. It's getting overheated. some fire starter why not and then probably don't have to do any batoning just put some sticks I mean this stuff's so dry I can just build a little random pyre over here and it'll just go Right everybody, we're all set up. Um, we're having some proper crisps again. These are the same ones that I had on the last video. I'll give you a little close up. <laughs> These are the uh, sweet smoked paprika ones. Mm. Since the fire's been lit, the temperature's gone from, what was it, eight? Eight, yeah. Yeah, it was quite cold. <laughs> it was cold. getting pretty cold. Eight degrees, and now it's 11.3. 11. So just this little fire here. It's warming up our space. Yeah, it's heat us up pretty good. Nice. Oh. But what we've got to do is... A lot of embers. We've got to get a good bed of coals here, and then we're going to cook the brisket burgers on my grill. The trusty grill. Oh, yeah, so... Show you these two. <laughs> Brought these the whole way up. These delicious burgers, brisket, cheddar, and jalapeno. I'm gonna put some cheddar cheese and brioche bun. But that'll be, I don't know, maybe an hour away. We'll get a perfect little bit of cold. Sit here, relax, have our chips. <laughs> and just look out at the mist. Mm. But this spot's real awesome. I've camped here. This will be my third time camping here. Both other times were in winter. 
if you go back into the channel you can see yeah some old videos of me here it's quite nice so tomorrow we're going to be camping here all day this is going to be a three-day camp with two nights and we'll just hang out tomorrow cook some real nice food shelter from the storm shelter from the storm <laughs> chill out and hopefully it's not too windy oh, eyes the smoke's coming straight <laughs> at me but we're just gonna chill let this fire go down and then probably come back for burger time i reckon yeah sounds good yeah. i'm so hungry i'm hungry too pretty big <laughs> walk in here So the fire's been burning down now for about 45 minutes and I think it's time to get these brisket burgers on the go. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Yeah, I think uh, we probably should have had a bit more to eat on the way in. It's still a pretty big hike. <laughs> so yeah, but these will be good. The fire's um, putting out heaps of heat so we should be able to get a nice sear on these patties. And there's no wind at all, which is quite nice. And the moon's just come out, which is pretty cool. So, perfect conditions for cooking dinner. How did I get it in here before? <laughs> get away to do. Just shove it in. And that should get pretty hot on there. Burgers are on. We go for the flip, but we don't really have very good flipping tools. Whoa, that's hot. It's, I've made the fire too hot. Is it? I can't get my hand in there because it's too hot. <laughs> my hand in there. Seen a wicker. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. We need to get the steaks on when it's like this. I didn't expect it to get so hot. My hands are well, burning. Made a bit of a mistake here with getting the fire this hot this insanely oh. hot <laughs> it's, it's like it's like lava this would be the heat you want it for the steaks wouldn't it mm -hmm. like incineration level so we got Dijon mustard which I'll get a bit of that the base of this bun coated up. Victoria's just closing the tent up because there's a wicker about. We need a patty on and some Waddy's tomato sauce that I got on my squirty bottle. Look at that. That's convenience. Backcountry cuisine. Victoria's adding some Dijon mustard to her gluten free bun. Mm -hmm. Can I have some tomato sauce? And look, I've got, I've got tomato sauce. This little squirty bottle. Don't think it'll grab focus. Squirts up perfectly. I'm gonna make a double cheeseburger. And we're building a monstrosity. Get a bit more sauce. I think that was a wicker. Was it? And that's the burger. Mm. That was worth it. Mm. <laughs> That's not good. Why are they so good? Mm. Cooking over the fire. It's definitely the fire, eh? Look, this is the double double cheeseburger. With Dijon, Dijon mustard. And a few singed hairs from my hand. The Dijon mustard definitely makes it way better. Mm. Just a little bit. Elevates the beefy flavour. Tomorrow, we need to get the fire that hot when we cook the steaks. Mm. These are tender though, we didn't overdo them. Mm. So we're just having um, jar of mints, hot chocolates, and then I guess we'll probably get into bed. No point staying up super late. I want to get into my deluxe sleep system and enjoy that a bit. 
and a little bit closer to you. Any spoons? Grab your spoon after you. But yeah, it was those burgers, they're pretty deluxe. I think nothing beats burgers when you're out camping. The hot chocolate cleanses the palate, especially when it has, <laughs> especially when there's mint in it, because it's kind of like an after dinner mint. Kind of cuts through the beef. I think I said this in the last video. But it's a pretty good night. It's quite misty. You can see like just fog coming through the campsite. But it's completely still. It's like the calm before the storm. <laughs> but I think we'll just have these hot chocolates relax out here for a bit. Can't see any stars, which is a bit of a shame. But then we'll probably get into bed. Snuggle up into bed. Yeah. yeah. We'll show you the deluxe system when we're inside it, inside <laughs> the tent. I'm really looking forward to getting into that. The big warm sleeping bags. Right. Walking up the hill today, I think I got almost maybe a few blisters with these boots. They're um they're still pretty new boots for me. I think this is like the the first kind of real walk that I've done with them, so they're still quite stiff. And my feet aren't exactly used to the the increased rigidity of these boots. And this is the the two sleeping bags joined together. You can see they're zipped up down here and I can put my feet right across. So it's like being in one ginormous bed. Victoria, mm -hmm. she's hiding down there. Show yourself. <laughs> How comfortable is it? I'm so cozy. Yeah. This we... um, pillow is really nice with the memory foam. Where is it? It's tucked into my thing. Um, the Nemo. I had it on my trip last week. It's the uh, fellow pillow thing. It's got the memory foam and it's quite big with real soft felt. Oh, it's quite glorious. It's the first pillow we got. Yeah. And just having this, how it zips up, it's real cool. So you've got just this. It's like my whole bed, so I can move my feet right across the whole tent, so I can spread my legs right out. Whoa! That's a wicker. It's right by the tent. Anyway, we're going to get off. That's <laughs> such a gross sound. Anyway, we're going to go to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow for the storm. Good morning. It's about 5.30, and as you can probably hear, there's some... Um, rain. It's been raining from about 2.30 or so in the morning um, and it's quite cold but I had a pretty good sleep and we're just chilling out in the tent now. It's still dark but I think we'll get a Makona on soon. I can hear some wind gushing around as well. I had to get up in the night and readjust the tarp because it was kind of catching all the wind so I pulled one side down. But I think what we'll do, we'll have a Makona in bed and to see how the day progresses. Don't know if I'll be lighting a fire this morning, it's a bit windy. But I'm kind of hungry, looking forward to my bacon and eggs. So, get a Makona on, have that, and reassess once our brains have woken up. Makona heft, mir um. Where's the coffee? Okay. The winds are picking up. Look at all this loft. Shivers. It's so nice. It's so nice. A lifesaver. <laughs> we are on coffee number two. The Aeropress. The Aeropress and... <laughs> There's a little bit of light in the sky. Alright, we're out of the tent and the rain is coming down at a nice, pretty even pace. 
and the wind's died down. So it's pretty much perfect conditions for camping in the rain right now. And we don't have to go anywhere today. We're fully established and we're just going to relax here all day. And it's probably going to rain to maybe like 12 o'clock, maybe 4 o'clock. I'm not entirely sure. But it's pretty nice just to be able to chill out and not have to go anywhere. So we've done well. So what we'll do is we'll get another AeroPress on. <laughs> and then for breakfast, we're going to have, um, we're going to have bacon and eggs. Look, I've got a whole bunch of bacon in here. And I've got six eggs all bubble wrapped up. So we're going to have that with the leftover brioche buns. But first, we'll have another coffee. I'm going to pass me the water bottle. It's behind you. And we'll make another AeroPress. But everything's been going pretty good so far in this camp. The wind came up quite strongly last night, which was slightly distressing. But it was to be expected. I did get up, readjusted the tarp a little bit. But it was alright. No major breakdowns. We have a bit of a breeze coming in. The wind's picking up again. We spoke way too soon. <laughs> but there's a nice solid rainfall, which is pretty fun. When you set up in the rain, when you're camping in the rain, it's real good. It's not fun trying to set base up when it's pissing down. So yeah, we'll have this AeroPress chill out for a bit and then we'll come back for breakfast, I think. We'll cook up the bacon and make those delicious sandwiches. But for now, we'll just have this chill out. It's quite nice. Rain's coming in good. going but probably not much point with all this rain. We don't want to burn all the wood before dinner. Yeah. I put my gloves on. What sort of tea? Plum and boysenberry tea. Should be rather pleasant in this misty environment. I'm getting quite wet. <laughs> it is raining. There's quite a bit of rain coming down. And I'm getting quite wet. I think what I'm going to have to do is stop running around moving the camera. <laughs> and just hunker down under the tarp. Because if I keep this up, I want to be saturated. Oh, Thumbs okay. up on the video if you like camping in the rain and hit <laughs> the subscribe button for the ultimate setup. Thank you very much, really appreciate it. Okay everyone, it is time for the bacon. This is, I showed you before, and I'll show you again. I don't know how much streaky bacon it is, but it's quite a bit. And then crack the eggs so you Yeah. Okay. So you got the uh, the pinnacle fry pan from GSI, which I had on my last trip. Quite a nice little robust pan. Get the bacon in. And obviously we will get the close up sizzle of the bacon 
because everyone likes that. But we'll get that cooking in there, then we'll put the bacon aside, and then we're going to scramble up all the eggs and then make sandwiches <laughs> for breakfast. We can put on the leftover Wadi's tomato sauce as well. You can already hear the sizzle as the rain falls, the bacon sizzles. But I suspect the rain will just carry on kind of like this. Nice crispy bacon. The not, bacon smells delicious. I'm not sure about I, the smell. I don't know what Victoria's talking about. <laughs> the bacon smells delicious. It's exquisite. It's very intense. Look at those eggs. Man, this is going to be a feast of different proportions. Once again, the rain's coming in pretty hard. And the wind, driving in wind and rain from this direction. That sizzle. Clearing up a bit out this way, but we've still got driving wind and rain coming in, but we're pretty well sheltered. Mm. The setup's working well, and all the gear's performing as planned. Whoa, the wind and the rain, it's coming. This tarp's protecting me pretty good. Is that, are they heating up a bit? Far out. Mm. These are pretty good weather conditions for camping. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Not by most people's standards. Nah, this is exactly what we ours. wanted. <laughs> this is exactly. Yeah, that'll be good. Sweet. Look at this. I need the volumizing pole. Fast one. Fire out. Oh well. She'll be right mate. Just need a bit of bacon. I think my camera's getting quite wet. <laughs> but well managed. <clears throat> it's quite hard on the cooker as well when you're trying to cook with wind like this. This is not working very well. We are pretty much done. Toasting those buns. Man, it's windy. I'll make my sandwich. The winds have picked up. Get the base. Put some sauce on. Buy the eggs, Victoria. Put the lid on. And that's what we got. Bacon egg sandwich in the rain. Mm. These things always turn out really good. I thought I'd upgrade the shelter <laughs> and make sure my camera doesn't malfunction, it's quite wet. But we'll come back to you later. We're gonna eat these. The rain is coming in just relentlessly. It's pretty good because the, the setup's fully holding up to all the weather. But I guess. There's no chance of us going for a walk today or collecting any more firewood. We just gotta stay put, hunker down with all this rain. It seems to be intensifying. 
I pulled this side of the tarp right down and I got my um, volumizing pole here. But Victoria's retreated back into the tent to warm up and I've just done all the dishes. Just made sure everything's okay. But I don't know if this rain's gonna stop. It's pretty cool though that we're all dry and we've got nowhere to go. So as you can see, the rain hasn't eased at all. It's still coming in with full force. It's quite nice. All misty out behind me. And the deluge just continues. Um, I guess that's what we wanted. There was a heavy rain warning. And I guess we're getting the heavy rain. There's a real deluge at the moment. This is the heaviest the rain has been the whole time. You can see the water just like pouring off the tarp behind me. I'm not even sure my voice is going to get picked up by the microphone, it's so loud. But it looks like the clouds are getting darker. But at least the wind's kept down a bit. So we're safe inside the base. But I'm a little bit nervous about whether or not we're going to be able to get a fire lit tonight to cook the steaks and the pumpkin. <laughs> it's absolutely bucketing down. Coming in. Beautiful conditions at base camp. Yeah, the storms fully come in, um, the heavy winds and rain. My camera might blow over, the umbrella on it is going all over the place. But what we're going to do... We're going to cook lunch, so we've got yeah. some Mexican style, what is it, rice and red quinoa from Radix Nutrition. And I'm going to wrap it up in these wraps and put some cheese in it and then fry them in the pan. <laughs> but it's... Pretty rough conditions. And the shelter is barely surviving. I need to move over a bit. I could try put a stick out the front, a small bit. That could prop it up a bit. But it's just this piece is blowing in. <laughs> if we pull it out like that, it would be quite nice. Flip it over. Are we ready? It's not ready. Ready. Give it a fold. But yeah, it's quite nice actually being out here when it's like this. You'd think, why are these people out here in the rain? Like, who camps in a storm? But it's quite fun to storm camp. If you trust your gear. Next rep. But yeah, look at this. Doesn't look the best, but it's gonna taste good. All right, guys, this is what we've got inside: some cheese and this nice rice mix. Yes. Yeah, 
slightly. Right. Pretty quick and easy though. Prettiest of nail today. The storms come back. This one I thought it was clearing up and I might get out for a little walk. <laughs> How am I going to eat this? We've had lunch and it's stopped raining a bit so we're going to get up for a little walk, stretch our legs and we'll show you some of the scenery around here oh there's some blue sky out that way but out over this way there's still some pretty dark clouds coming in but it's kind of clearing up a little bit well in some directions Woo. Weather's coming in again. <laughs> Usually this is filled with water. It's Victoria's being silly. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to get this little fire going. We've just been for a nice little stroll up around in the mountain, well up the hill behind us and it's time to start thinking about dinner. It's cleared up pretty nice. I don't think there's gonna be any more rain tonight, but there's still some pretty strong gusts to wind, but the clouds getting pushed that way over the mountains. So I'll attempt to make a small little fire in this rock pit that from last night. And we're gonna cook the pumpkin, wrap it in tin foil. It'll take about an hour to roast. And then we're gonna get a nice bed of coals. We're gonna cook some ribeye steaks. So I'll crack on with that get the fire pit going and just keep it small so if any big gusts come it doesn't make a disaster all right so we've salted up the ribeye steaks and we've wrapped up the pumpkin, seasoned the pumpkin, put oil on the pumpkin, and put the pumpkin in the fire. <laughs> yeah, so it might now take wait. about 45 minutes. I'm not sure, the pumpkin's not particularly large, so it's not gonna be a huge cook. And then after about 30 minutes, we'll unwrap the pumpkin, <laughs> and we've got some like cheddar infused blue cheese which will crumble inside of the pumpkin. Then we'll wrap up the pumpkin again and we'll keep it warm. And then we're gonna get the steaks, get the grill, grill the steaks. And Sounds it's gonna, pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Sounds yum. Right now the wind, there's no wind, but strong gusts come through every now and then. But it's quite sunny and pleasant now. Hopefully it stays this way. Mm. Had all four seasons on this trip. <laughs> Had severe Very wind. Good. Heavy rain, cold, warm, everything. Beautiful sunshine. <laughs> yeah, so you get the full New Zealand experience on this camp. <laughs> it's quite fun. That pumpkin is getting the inferno treatment in there. The wind's gusting around, getting the flames all over that pumpkin. Extract the pumpkin. Open it up. Tasman blue. This is some uh, luxurious cheese that we got from our local cheesery. We're gonna put that inside the pumpkin. Then we'll wrap them back up and it'll just be full of cheese. <laughs> orange and orange. Mm 
bit of extra oil in there. Here's that. Yeah. Hopefully they come away good. Oh yes. Oh man. The crust on that. Holy moly. Take steaks off now. Blue cheese cheddar pumpkin. Get that off. All right, so. We'll let those rest for a little bit. Yeah, we'll open up the pumpkin. We'll see what it looks like inside. It's probably be really hot. So this smells incredible. Yeah, I'll just wait a second. And it looks rather incredible too. So yeah, it's all infused, cooked down. I'm gonna need to wait for that to cool a bit too. The steaks have like a really nice crust on them compared to the ones that we did a couple of videos back. I don't think the coals were hot enough, but these steaks, I might give a close up to the camera, have a beautiful crust. <laughs> Hear that from my mic? That's the crust on the steak. That's my steak with a perfect crust and this beautiful cheddar infused blue cheese over it. Up here, with the wind dying down and everything. Look at that. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna cut into my steak. Why is it so tender? Good piece of steak initially and we salted it. That salting makes such a huge difference. It's exactly how I like it, perfect. It's perfect. Incredibly tender and juicy. The sweetness of the pumpkin and the nice tanginess of the blue, the blue cheddar. I mean, look at this. Look at this. That's the cheese, the beef. Put some pumpkin on there too. Mmm. Yeah. What a day. Anyway. It'd be so nice if we could share this, like through, yeah. through the camera, pass it over. Everyone who watches, go into the bush and cook a steak <laughs> over the fire and do what we did. 10 out of 10. Thumbs up for this. <laughs> Delicious. Anyway, we're going to finish eating this and we'll see what happens next. We've just uh, come for a little walk out, but the rain has decided to come back again and the heavy wind so short little walk <laughs> yeah <laughs> we got to get back but yeah more rain strong winds uh might just have to get into the sleeping bags i think <laughs> all right we're back just having our ceremonial hot chocolate Cheers everyone, thanks for coming on this camp. It's been a pretty spectacular camp for us, pretty hard conditions, but probably quite enjoyable for you guys, seeing us struggling <laughs> in the wind and the rain and cooking up all these quite luxurious meals. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it's hard work, but being out here, it's pretty spectacular. We got quite a nice array of colors and cloud going over the hills behind us well, in front of us. And I think behind us, there's some more rain clouds coming. Yeah, they're looking pretty dark. <laughs> oh well, we can get cozy in the tent soon and... Yeah, we'll probably go to bed early, cuddle up, Yeah. survive the night. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, it'll be probably an early wake up, double Maconas, Europress, and we've got pancakes. Quick pack up and head out. <laughs> and that'll be the camp. But I've got this little fire. It's just a huge ball of embers in here now. And it's actually putting out really good heat. But I think what we'll do, have these hot chocolates and then get into bed pretty early, I'd say. Sounds good to me. But yeah, thank you everyone. Really appreciate you coming along, watching the videos, supporting us. It's always really nice to have I don't know, 
your appreciation shown through hitting the like button. But <laughs> yeah. Just watching the video. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's cool to have you along. Yeah. All right. We'll check back in at bed time, I think. See you then. These wickers. <laughs> Listen to these things. Good morning, everybody. Um, as you can hear, it's a very, very windy, rough morning here in the tent. Um, Victoria. Victoria's gonna make it's so windy. Victoria's gonna make us a coffee. Uh, and hopefully we don't blow away. I'm not sure if we'll be doing pancakes in this wind. But we're okay. Just yeah, hopefully the sun comes up and the wind dies down. But time for a Makuna. May I please have my Makona? Mm. Oh yeah, everything's better already. So we've just checked the forecast and this is only supposed to get worse. Um, but we've bought the pancakes up and I really don't want to have to carry them back out. So I guess we should probably try and cook them. And then... <laughs> Just see what happens. Yeah, we can cook Get out them. of here. <laughs> Pancakes in bed. The sun's coming up. It's gonna come into the tent. The sun's coming up directly into the campsite. It's pretty nice. We're just inside the tent. We're gonna pack up some of our, like our sleeping pads and our sleeping bags. We had another coffee, then we're gonna probably get up and see if we can do these pancakes. But it's so nice, you can see the sun coming in, hitting my face. The wind is still gusting, but maybe once the sun hits the landscape, it'll keep the wind away. We've decided that we're going to quickly pack up the tent, pack up the tarp, and probably head on out from camp. Because the wind hasn't stopped at all. And I don't think we're going to be able to do pancakes in this type of condition, so... We'll shoot out the camp and we might find a sheltered spot in the bush where we can do the pancakes on the way back out or something. But I think it's just going to rain on us and it won't be much fun doing pancakes here. So we're heading out, had a bit of an accident as the huge gust of wind came in, it blew my camera over and it broke the articulating screen off. The camera still works but I have to get that fixed so that's a bit of a shame. The next couple of vids might just be on the GoPro but conditions aren't very good so we're going to head out now, make our way back and go home. It's not really uh, the funnest way to end the camp, breaking your gear, but you learn lessons and the pancake should be nice and it should give us a nice little sweet treat, put us in a good mood to end the trip. And then I'm just gonna put this all into here. So you just want to keep slowly adding water until it becomes a nice, thick, consistent paste. So as you can see, it's a nice, runny kind of texture. So I've just finished mixing that up, but it's got um, two big heap tablespoons of linseeds in there. So that's actually going to thicken it up and bind the mixture together so that the pancakes hold. 
That smells real nice. We've got little bowls. I'm gonna fold them. And taste a bit. Look at that. That's pancake. Holy moly. So these pancakes are Victoria's secret pancake recipe, which is not actually a secret. If you go onto um, my Instagram, or well, our page Instagram, you can get the recipe for these. It's on there, so go onto Instagram, follow us on Instagram too, <laughs> and then you can try these pancakes for yourself in the outdoors. Well, this is the pancakes, drizzled with maple syrup. Absolutely delightful. Victoria makes the best pancakes. Mmm. Oh man. Better than the ones that we made in the other video. Mmm. Why is that? Just cooked better. We're gonna sit here, eat these, and enjoy these. And it's a good end to this crazy trip that we've been on. I hope you've all enjoyed seeing us suffer through the elements and yeah if you're still watching subscribe and we'll see you again in another video thank you everyone goodbye <laughs>